Yo, what is poppin', ladies and gents? I am back here again with another Unordinary Reaction, episode 180. Last week, as we saw, as everybody saw, John beat the shit out of one of these kids and slammed them into a locker. So, yeah, that's cool. So, like, uh, this week, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see the aftermath. If there is gonna be one. But, uh, like, last week, like I said, I doubt it's gonna it's gonna show up in this episode. I feel like it'll probably show up in, like, an episode or two from now. So, yeah. <sighs> Just just knowing the pattern. I just know the pattern that Wu-Chan follows, bro. I just know. I just know. She just loves to... Uh, okay, yeah. See? Yeah, we're not even on it. All right. So, we got Serafina. Last time I checked, she's trying to contact Claire. So, this is her shit. So, I mean, this is all... This is her stuff. But, hey. You know how we do. You know how we do. She's already deep into it. She's about to hit that call. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Hi. Am I speaking with Claire? Uh, Yes. Hi Claire, my name is Serafina. I'm calling because I'd like to ask you a few questions about Uh sorry. But I'm not interested in taking any surveys right now. <laughs> oh my god. She really she really got this lady down for like one of those survey people. Like you know how how you see all those advertisements advertisements on Instagram or like people saying that dumb should be like guys, do you want to make $300 in a day? Well, here you go. Take a few surveys and you're making more money than people that work an eight-hour job. God damn it. Shut up. Bro, what, what's wrong with this clip? Why does it look like this? Why does her head look super big and her body look super small? This shit look kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. This looks kind of goofy. Like, he hella goofy. I don't know if it should be. She hung up on me. How dare she hang up on me? You see how the music just kicked up right there? She was like, oh my god, how dare you? See you on Ordinary Episode 180. Alright, bet. I hope the music is not too loud. I hope the music isn't too loud. That's just the number one thing. You really want those answers, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm not a telemarketer. Oh? I'm calling because I need your help. You had an old classmate named John, correct? Look, I have no idea who you are, and I don't know how you got my, how you got my contact info. But I don't want anything to do with John anymore. Okay, guys, hold on. Hold on. This is gonna look very unprofessional. But I have to, like... I have to, like, lower this volume music, bro. This shit's... Bro, this shit hella loud for no reason. What the fuck is this? Get out of here. Golly. Bob. Alright, we back. We back. That is the most unprofessional shit I've done in any of my ordinary videos. So do not let that fool you. Do not let that fool you. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. But this is not the end of the video. I just gotta remind y'all that's not who I am. Like, I have no idea who you are. And I don't know how you got my contact info. But I don't want anything to do with John anymore. I don't know, bro. Like, I had to turn that music down. I could not hear myself think. Last I heard, he went to some snobby prep school, Wellston. <laughs> snobby. You can go ask the kids over there for help. I am a student from Wellston. John is my classmate. Oh. Uh, well, damn. That's awkward. <laughs> I think you're the only one who can help anyway, so please hear me out. John and I had an argument a few days ago. He called me Claire, and that's how I found out about you. Oh. That's why you called? Uh, are you his girlfriend or something? What? Oh, ho. Oh, I see now. Don't worry, he's all yours, sis. Crazy obsessive girlfriend. I haven't spoken with him in years. And I don't plan on it ever again, so years. Okay, I, I think that's a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but okay, alright, whatever. No, you misunderstand. Let me explain. Something in John's past has been haunting him. And he's gotten extremely aggressive because of it. Whatever it is, I know it's got to do with you and his experience and you, Boston aggressive so he's causing trouble over there now too yes but isn't your school full of high tiers aren't you all supposed to be super strong not a single one of you can stop him no <laughs> this girl she's very blunt <laughs> well that sucks you think after getting expelled and taken in by the authorities he'd have learned his lesson Hmm, John was taken by in by the authorities. Uh, I guess you wouldn't know about something like that What happened? Well long story short I rallied a bunch of classmates against him He beat us all half to death and the authorities had to step in to stop him You were the one behind that. I didn't want to fight him. I Only did it because I had no other choice And why is that? 
He was hurting people left and right, and nothing anyone said was getting through to him. I needed someone to. I needed. I need to knock some sense into him. You've thrown the school into panic. You've hurt so many students. John, wake up. It's time to stop. Okay, I can see. You don't know anything. I'm awake. I've never been more awake. It's just as I thought. He's been acting this. He's acting the same as he was in New Boston. He's repeating everything. Sorry. Hmm? If I hadn't if I had just kept my visions to myself, then you wouldn't have turned out like this. Even now, what I regret most is helping John discover his ability. Ooh, okay. Alright, this is very nice. This is very nice right here. So from the way it seems, she helped him discover his ability. But like, okay, so in the earlier chapters, um, he talked about how, what was it called? What what the hell was it? Okay, so he was talking about how he was a cripple until middle school. But from the way it seems, she helped him discover his ability. But like, let's let's just backtrack a little bit and talk about John's ability. So John's ability is the ability to like obviously copy other abilities and amplify them to make them like 1.5 times stronger or some shit like that. I don't care what the multiplier is. That is not what we're talking about. This ain't math class. If you needed to talk about algebra, go there. But besides the point i don't most people would not know what their ability is if they have the ability to copy somebody else's ability because you would think how would you know that like like you would not just like all of a sudden think to yourself like wow i can copy abilities or like just think to yourself like i think i want to try to copy this ability no people are going to try to activate their own ability especially due to the fact that like you probably don't know that you have an ability until it starts to manifest by like you know like you're in a fight or some shit and it just happens I'm gonna assume something like that is what happened because like she says she helped him discover his ability so I'm gonna assume uh, like what she said right here I if I kept my visions to myself then it wouldn't have turned out like this so from the looks of it it, it seems like Claire obviously she's like some Judy type thing she could see into the future or whatever I don't remember what her name of her ability was I don't care either that's okay but so apparently she saw him using an ability so I guess that's how it worked discover his ability what do you mean Serafina, how much time do you have to talk? Plenty, I'm free all day. But like, yeah, so, just like I said. So, obviously, due to the nature of John's ability, I don't think it would be as obvious to believe that, like, yeah, I just, he, he knows what his ability is. So, what if he was not a... So, like, from my theory or my perspective, I'm just gonna assume that, like, let's say John was not a cripple until he was in middle school. He's not a late bloomer. If anything, he had the ability for like maybe maybe it um it happened when everybody gets their ability like the average age but he didn't know about it you know why because he didn't know what his ability was that's the only reason so the reason we know what he knows what his ability is and the reason he knows his ability as good as it as he does it's thanks to claire so yeah we could thank her visions for showing him that all right john this you do have an ability but this is this is what you have to try to do so yeah this is much better my elbow was starting to get sore so that's what you look like. Cute outfit, by the way. Thanks. Anywhere. Anyway, wh where was I? You helped John discover his ability. How did you two meet each other? And how did it all lead up to now? Well, John and I met, at the, met in our first year of middle school. ta ta ta, -ta. Oh shit, she just came out from getting her ass beat. I like the, twi I like the twin tails. Or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Ha, ah, check out how weak he is. Can you believe it? He's in middle school and he, d and he still doesn't have an ability. Stupid John, crippled John, wow, yeah. And everybody wonders, oh my god, bro, it's so bad that he's beating the shit out of everybody like they don't deserve it. Get the fuck out of my face. Y'all capping crazy. He does All these guys that get the shit beat out of him, they deserve it. I don't give a shit if they're in middle school. You deserve what comes to you. Do something bad, something bad has to happen in return. He's getting picked on too. What a loser, can't even fight back. You guys shouldn't be fighting in the first place, don't you think about it? That's why you guys talk about all this hierarchy bullshit. Loser, okay. Uh, how boring. Come on guys, let's get out of here. Psst. Man, look how, look how cute he looks. I was about to say, look how kawaii he looks. Oh my gosh.
she just runs over them. This looks like so funny. <laughs> it's mad cute. I'm not gonna lie. Are you okay? Here. Let me help you. Yeah, you you did more than. <laughs> Look at that face he's making. It's like that face <laughs> when you're like a little kid, and then like you don't like something, and you're like, oh man, something stupid just happened. Then but uh, but then you're like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Reach. Thanks. No problem. How unlucky. Looks like we both got beat up in the first week. At least things can only go up from here. That's a cap. That's the biggest cap I ever heard in my life. <laughs> if you're crippled or your ability is weak, then you get beat down every day. <laughs> That's a cap. Shit doesn't go up from there. Maybe it goes up in punishment. By the way, my name is Claire. Nice to meet you. Yeah, amazing, amazing way to meet each other. <laughs> both y'all just got beat up. Nice. Oh, hi. I'm John. And this, where, this, this kid's. This is how it all started. This is how I became the king. <laughs> that shit is freaking hilarious. Episode, an ordinary episode 180 end. Ooh, this is a new way to end it. I've never seen the way, like, i never seen the text like this and, like, the color specifically like this. This is actually really cool. I like the way how, um, his speech bubbles and shit are black. So, that's pretty cool. But like I was saying earlier, the thing with John's ability, all that stuff, like, it seems like that's the way it works out. So, uh, because she did help him see, find out his ability. That's the way it looked. She said she kept her visions to herself, so obviously she saw John using his ability, so that's the way it's gonna work. Just because, based on the fact that, obviously, if you don't know what your ability is, specifically being to copy, you're never gonna think to yourself, why don't I try copying his ability? Because you don't know that's your ability. Especially since his dad was a cripple and he doesn't know who his mom is potentially. So, yeah. That's just where I'm gonna leave it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Check out my podcast. Uh... Of course, comment down below, all that extra shit. And if you guys want me to start streaming on Twitch, comment that down below too. So hope y'all enjoyed. Peace out.